Welcome back guys. So I am super excited about this. We've had terrible weather the past few days. We've been stuck on the boat doing projects, nothing fun, but today we finally have some beautiful weather. Wind's still kicking maybe 15, 20 knots, but it's coming at a perfect angle so I can go just behind these rocks over here and get some awesome diving. The other day we went over here and saw a lot of life. Not a ton of fish that we wanted to shoot, but I have a feeling today might be the day for that. So we're getting ready, gonna send it out on the dinghy. There's a ton of sharks over here the other day, so hopefully we can get some cool clips of that. But yeah, so excited, let's do this, woo! Most of you guys know we have a nice hogfish. This is like I said earlier about the minimum size that I'll shoot. This is perfect for eating. Take them bigger always, but yeah, this is perfect for us for dinner. And then this is a horse-eyed jack. I've never shot one of these before. I usually pass on jacks, but man, there was a ton of them swimming around and I decided to take one, try it out. I read that if you bleed it properly, the fish is pretty good. So we haven't, it hasn't been dead very long, so we're gonna bleed it, try and get all the blood out of it we can, and give it a go. But yeah, super freaking stoked. Good day. All right, we are on our way to get Nelly. Just picked up anchor. We're over here at Man of War Key. So we got about just an hour ride back to Marsh Harbor, where we are renting a car. Uh, yeah, we're right on time. We're gonna rent a car, grab some groceries. Hopefully get some propane, that's been a tough task this time. But yeah, grabbing Nelly and gonna have fun for a few days before she has to fly out again. But we'll make the most of it while she's here. Well, forgot to bring in the uh, dinghy line. I was careful not to suck in the prop, but somehow it wrapped the rudder. So, always keep your dinghy in tight when you're pulling up anchor. We may 
made it. Uh, we were renting a car again, unfortunately, but they're on their way to get us now. We're gonna uh, grab some groceries, drive around town a little bit, have a little fun, pick up Nelly for the air from the airport, and then I don't really know. She's only here for a few days, so we might run back to one of these islands near Man of War. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out from then. You know, the best plan when sailing is no plan, so that's what we're doing. But yeah, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Where's the shifter? Oh, right. <laughs> well back um, driving another vehicle with the steering wheel on the other side. Getting pretty used to this. I'm going to forget how to drive in the States. She pulled me into the most awkward spot to get out of. But yeah, like we said earlier, running some grocery, or running some errands. Going to um, skip the turn around over here. Hopefully get propane. Get groceries. Get that new starter battery that we needed. And then uh, pick up Nelly. All right, we're here at the airport waiting for Nelly to come in. How long has it been? It's been a while since we've seen her. We're only going to get to see her for a couple days, so super excited. We have a ton of fun while she's here. Just a waiting game out in the heat now. Just in case Nelly forgot what we look like. Everyone else has them around here. Yeah. You got your customs okay? Yeah. Hi. Let's go. Two days. Two days. I told them that I was staying at Abigail Beach Resort. Oh, nice. Smart. Yeah. road again or on the water again we just picked up anchor out of marsh harbor and Nelly's only here for a couple days we're thinking we might and the weather's not gonna be that great pretty windy so we're just gonna head back over to man of war we like it over there um, do some diving tomorrow and the next day probably she brought us the piece we needed to start using our underwater housing so we should start getting some pretty sick uh, underwater content, maybe even in this video, this one or the next, but yeah, I expect an upgrade pretty quick, so that's exciting. Yeah, hopefully get some more fishing and uh, diving content in for you guys, and yeah, let us know if you guys like the diving. I, I really enjoy it, so I'm wanting to kind of slowly transition to more and more diving, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. We'll see you guys soon. Good morning, y'all. We are back here at the beautiful Man of War Key. This is one of our favorite spots so far. We have beautiful Nelly back with us as well. We have some exciting things going on today. So first of all, the weather is gorgeous. We're hoping the ocean side is gonna be really good. We haven't seen it yet, but so far it's beautiful. We have two really exciting camera features. One being this very expensive, badass underwater housing for our big Canon C60 Mark II. So hopefully, if we can figure out how to use it properly, we're gonna get some really cool cinematic underwater shots. And also, for the second time, we have a GoPro pre-dive mask. The last one would not fit my face, and so it leaked everywhere, and I couldn't get any like really of the really cool first-person shots. But I'm trying this one out today, and so hopefully it works and we can get a ton of really cool first person. You guys can see exactly what I'm seeing when we're down there fishing. But um, I wanted to walk you through, for those of you who don't know, when you get a brand new mask like this, you have to do a little bit of prep. So if we're gonna go downstairs in just a second and walk you guys through how to get one of these masks ready. <laughs> so when you get a new mask like this, you have to do a little prep work, as I was saying. What you want to do is you want to burn the inside of the mask. It's got like a protective wax sort of layer on it. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like real quick. So you get just a regular lighter, okay? You don't want to have like anything too crazy, too hot. If I have a lighter that will work. Let me... Okay, you got to have a lighter that works. Learned that the hard way on that one. But as I was saying, we just want to burn the inside of the mask right here. So I'm just going to show you, get a nice lighter that works. Get under here and you'll see, see how it's starting to melt away there? Don't do too long, just melt the, the edges of it. Come on, lighter work for me. 
But anyways, you guys get the idea. You see how you can see the melt around the edge right there? And then I'm just gonna, if I can get a lighter that will work, get around the outside edges. Just be careful not to overdo it. Get that side, see how it's melting away like that? Right there. That's what we want to see. The outside, try not to melt the rubber. This isn't my best job, so I'm trying to show you guys the... Anyway, it's not helping me. I'm gonna finish it up later. But what you wanna do is you wanna burn away all of that outside wax layer, and then you can take a like gritty toothpaste or something like that, nothing too rough, because you don't wanna scratch it, but put that in there and then rub it around just to get all the excess residue and anything bad off there. And then it has a way less chance of fogging up on you. I also will use either some reef shape, uh, reef safe, like stream to see is the brand I like to use for the inside of the mask. We need to get some more of that. Or baby shampoo, it's probably not the best for the reef. I need to move away from that. But some sort of good, safe substance that keeps your mask from fogging it makes diving way more enjoyable. We got our gear ready. Now it's time to go diving. Woo! Margate snapper right here. Love Margate. It's hard to fillet, but amazing taste. And then I got my personal best fish. Super excited about a yellowfin grouper. Oh, this is a beast of a fish right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. I saw one two or three times this size that I decided not to shoot because. He's just too big. But this one came along, perfect size, my best fish ever. Ah, thank you. Good. Okay, people, so I fly out again today. It's only here for like three days, but Banner and I went and did some diving this morning. Didn't get anything. But we're back at Marsh Harbor. The boys are gonna get some diesel and then they can and hopefully get going either today or tomorrow start heading towards Eleuthera. Woohoo! So, wish me Yeah, luck. we're yeah. sad to see Nelly go, but we are pumped to get moving again, do some more awesome diving. Yeah, that's all we got. See you next time. Bye, Nelly. Bye!